Hey, welcome back to AJM Learn. So in this video, I just want to show you how to implement and style the banner slideshow. This is one of my least favorite features, but it's requested all the time by my clients to have a slider. So I figured out how to really use it and make it decent. So video here, just going to show you how to put it in place. And then video following in this post will show you uh, how to apply some custom CSS. Okay. So as any other section, you'll just click add a new section. Easiest way, TBH, the only way I ever add one is just going into the intro sections and choosing the slider. So bam, we have the banner slideshow in place. Cool. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go through kind of all of the different uh, ways you can edit it because um, I just find it to be not super intuitive. Um, first and foremost, if you go to edit section, this is where your uh, background color is coming in. So if you wanted the font to be white, um, you would actually edit all of this stuff in your styling. So if you wanted, you know, okay, I'm going to use dark too, but I want the font to be white. You actually have to go into your site styles and edit all the font colors. So why they want everything to be in different areas, who knows? Uh, okay. We'll start here though. So if you go into edit content, um, okay, first thing you need to know is in this section, you can show a title and a button for the whole section. You can see my button's not showing up because I don't have it styled. I literally never use that. I think it just looks really chunky. I'd rather just add another section above it. So we'll leave that out for now. Um, and you can also choose to show what, like what you want to show within the content here. So image, which appears as the background, title, body. I do this with testimonials. I'll show you that. And then the button, if you need a button or not. Um, for now, I'm going to leave the button out. Uh, actually, lies. I'll keep the button in. Okay. And then over in content, this is where all the stuff is populated. So you can click into any of these existing filler ones. Um, whatever photo you put will populate in the background. And then here is your button text and your button link. Um, yeah, so these are pretty self-explanatory. You can move, you know, the order of things around dragging here. Okay, most importantly, the design tab. So I go a, a little backwards with this. I like to get my spacing down and then I'll start playing around with more styling. So for me personally, I tend to keep it on full bleed, keep the vertical padding small. Let's say we want a left align. Um, I always do the infinite scroll, meaning it doesn't like end and have to bounce back to the beginning. It just keeps scrolling, which I like. You can have it show adjacent slides. I just totally depends on the style of your site. Sometimes looks cool. Sometimes not as much. Okay. Under style, this is where you're going to get your text size. This gets super annoying to me because if, especially if you're showing description, you don't have a lot of control over exact sizing. You're just using this like ridiculous, you know, text styling. You can go in here and get a little more specific with like your title and the button um, and the description. You can get more specific, but I find this to be just like a ridiculous way to choose styling. Um, I'm gonna come back to all the rest of this. Under size and space, um, I like, again, totally depends on your site, but you wanna play around with what's that minimum height. So if I'm doing this for like testimonial slider, I will do it smaller. Um, if this is a hero slider, I'll do it larger. Um, slight content width, large. It's crazy to me that this is even an option, that it like runs all the way to your arrows. It looks crazy. So I tend to manually do this one. Um, spacing between elements, I tend to take down to small. Why we would want all this space is truly beyond me. Um, Space between slides, I keep that small. Vertical positioning, um, we can come back to this, but this is nice because you can align. I never really use this, but bottom can, aligning to the bottom could be nice. Um, so we'll play around with all of these settings based on if the arrows are in the way or not. It's such a not well thought out feature. Okay, so a couple ways that I started just styling this. So under style, um, using a card. So you can, of course, change your card padding either manually or just kind of choose some presets here. Um, the again, this is what's really annoying about these. The card 
background is set in your color tabs. You have to go to your lightest one. Usually when I click on it, it yeah, it goes to the wrong color, which I think is insane. And then for some reason, the card doesn't show up. It's honestly bananas to me. So you really have to go into light one and scroll all the way until you find banner slideshow, which is here. And then the card will be there. So, oh boy, I'm in the wrong color, aren't I? Lightest one. See, it. this is crazy. They haven't fixed this. Okay. So then you'll go to the card and you can play around here. So I really like to do either a white card that's slightly transparent or a dark card that's slightly transparent, in which case that would work better on, you know, using a darker background. I don't know why this chooses to hate me. So go to colors, dark two, go down here. Okay. So yeah, this is where I would, um, why is it doing this? This is crazy. So yeah, I'd play around with this, play around with, um, oh, here we go. Sorry. Card titles. So always gets a little confusing. Um, of course you can change the button color, etc. So, and then depending on what you have here in the background, either the black can look really nice or the white can look really nice. I always, um, for styling, well, I'll come back to the arrows actually. So that's kind of one way I like to style this. This feels very like, I don't know, to me, like it's just sitting in the middle of the page, which is not super appealing to me. Um, so let me go back to lightest two. I know I'm jumping around a lot here, but they make you do this by, by how you have to edit this stinking thing. It's crazy. I don't know whose idea this was. Okay. So let's pretend we like the way this looks in general. Cool. But now this is just like floaty, you know, it's just sitting in the middle. So something I like to do, go back into design under size and space is change the vertical position um, to sit at the bottom. Now with this, I like to play around with content width, um, slide height. So all of that. Um, this can also look really cool if you put it over to the left. So something like this can look cool, but these arrows are super in the way. So let's address the arrows. Um, back into your site styles under your colors. Um, this is where you change the arrow colors. So you're going back to your banner slideshow and your arrow. So arrow background and then your actual arrow color. What I do nine times out of 10, because I think it looks kind of nice, is I will change this, the actual background color to like a faded, very, you know, barely visible white. And then the arrow can be either black or maybe the arrow is fully white. Um, de again, depending on like if you have an overlay on the background, if you can see this or not. Um, sometimes I just take that arrow background like away completely. Just totally depends on what I'm looking to do to it. But there's a bunch of ways to style it so you don't feel like you have to have those like crazy circles. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So that works for me a lot. Another good one is keeping it white in the middle. And then, you know, you could do a color around and fade it out a bit. doesn't look too bad. So totally your call on the arrows themselves. Um, so, okay. Arrows are still just like in the middle, like in the way. So let's fix that. Let me save. Okay. So back into edit content design. Okay, arrows. Um, sometimes I like to put these at the bottom. Where did they go? Okay, right here. I have them in black, so they're kind of hard to see. And you can put them in different places. So I kind of like to put them off to the right. In which this case, of course, let's see. So space navigation. 
So yeah, now that the arrows are not in the way, this layout's looking better. When the arrows were there, this was like sitting in a weird place. So you can play around with all this spacing here. Um, and then in this case, of course, I would go back in and change these arrows to white if you had like something darker in the corner down here. So I like to do this a lot. I've, I've styled plenty of sites this way because then you can have whatever photo you want in the background and then it's not interfered. You know, this is not interfering. Let's say you don't want that which is totally fine, of course. Um, the next way I've been really styling these is, I mean, this is so unintuitive. <laughs> okay, is, so again, you can totally play around with like, where do you want the arrows? Maybe I want them directly underneath here. Um, let's go back to size and space. So let's say I want the width like a little bit more in. So this is cool. So I like this look because this over here is now empty. It's only 63% width. Um, so it's not going to take up the whole flipping image, um, which I like the style of much more. And you can also play around with like right now, I still have it positioned to the bottom. You can play around with the positioning there. Do you want it centered? In which case you would, in my opinion, move the arrows. Um, you can center the text. So, you know, totally play around with that. But here is a nice option as well. The issue with this is that I found is that you, you know, if this is overlaid on an image, it's hard to read. Um, and there at this moment are not um, settings for the background. So for example, your content these images, there's no way to like add any sort of overlay to them at the moment. Um, so they're just kind of stuck being the color that you upload, which is really not conducive for having text over it. So it's again, one of those things that's a little crazy to me. I'm like, why is this where Squarespace ended up? Um, so let me show you how to fix that with CSS, but hopefully this helped you like learn how to style this a bit more. I for so long felt like I was stuck with like the arrows on the sides and some everything centered and the spacing was really weird and all of that. So play around with those settings and you can end up with a pretty cool, um, pretty cool result. Again, watch the CSS video because that'll give you way more insight as well.